My name is Asher Yaron and I am in Ubud, Bali. And my coffee process, I've been involved with coffee now for 12 years. My coffee process is best described in three words. Roast, grind, and brew. And it's not even my own process. This is something that I copied from the Ethiopian coffee ceremony, ceremony which has been around for well over a thousand years and was first used where coffee was discovered, which was Ethiopia. And the people who were doing this ceremony, who continue to do it today, were the monks, were the holy men, were people who were getting high off of what they were brewing. This coffee, this miraculous psychoactive substance that they were ingesting for the very first time, and it was giving them a higher state of consciousness, uh, an awareness, and a high. And I, I wanted to experience that. I said, how, how do we do this? And it's roast, grind, and brew. But in Ethiopia, it takes hours to go through this ceremony and this process every time. So I always had the thought, how can I do this same process that they're doing, but collapse the time, do it in my home, in my own kitchen, in minutes, not hours. So that's what inspired me to, first of all, create my home roaster, which is called the Power Roaster, which roasts 120 grams, about 12 shots of espresso in only six minutes, and then two hours extra for cooling. So in eight minutes, I can roast coffee, which would take maybe an hour in the Ethiopian coffee ceremony. And then with today's grinders, today's technology, it's very easy to grind that fresh roasted coffee. And when you do, your senses come into play because it is the most exquisite aroma that you've ever experienced when you fresh roast the coffee and you grind it right away. And it's one of the indicators showing you that making coffee this way makes literally the best coffee and can elevate anyone's coffee experience. And I think we all want to elevate our coffee experience. We're always looking for how to have a better cup of coffee. And lately, the final step of that process, the brewing process, I have acquired a, a manual espresso machine that I can make the m most amazing espresso in my kitchen at home by manually using a levered espresso machine that's designed to make as good an espresso as a multi-thousand dollar espresso machine, which is something that I can't afford and I think most people can't, af can't afford it. And I wanted something more green, more sustainable, so I've been using this manual espresso machine that just makes the most exquisite cup of coffee. So now I can be in my kitchen and I can do the roast, grind, and brew process. And it takes me about 10 to 12 minutes to do the whole thing. Now I can sit with my coffee, I can meditate like the monks in Ethiopia, and I can get high and enlightened and expand my awareness and consciousness through this sacred substance called Arabica coffee. So the part of the process in coffee that I am most passionate about is taking this green coffee, the coffee cherry seeds, and roasting it and having this as a result which we can now grind and brew. And I'm most passionate about it because the process is just a magical process. So this hard green bean, there's really nothing you can do with it. You can't even plant it as a seed. It won't grow a coffee uh, plant because the outer covering is already taken off. So the only thing you can do with this is roast it and make it look like this. Now this has a lot of potential because what we can do with this is grind and brew it and make it into an extraction that we can then drink and take into our bodies and that affects our brain and our body in very positive ways when it's fresh roasted. So what I want to do is go through the process with my power roaster and show you exactly how we do the roast grind brew process and how we collapse that Ethiopian coffee ceremony I talked about before from an hours long process into a minutes long process that you do in your own kitchen.